Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We are playing Stardew Valley. Now, this is a game that I've heard tons about. Everyone raves about it, about how awesome it is and stuff, but um, I haven't heard of it. I mean, I haven't played it, is what I mean. I, I have heard of it. I just said that I've heard of it. Oh, I can turn the music off. Okay. Um, but uh, apparently it's really good. But apparently it's about farming. Yeah. Um, okay. Right. My name is Mr. Jacobs. And my farm's name is The Patio. I don't know. I don't know why. That's just what we're going to call it. My favorite thing is the patio. Because I like to sit on the patio. Um, I definitely prefer dogs. I'm going to go ahead and say that straight up. Oh, I can change my skin color. I'm pretty white. Ooh, I like that hair. Yeah. Ooh, nice shirt. Is there a pink one? Oh, there's a skull. Um, I can, why can't I change my, right, I don't, I don't have a beard, uh, hair color, oh, there we go, nice, and pants color, his hair matches his pants, your farm is spread across several islands, let's, let's go with a standard farm, we're gonna standard farm it up. Time to get, oh, I'm an old man and I sleep by the fire and my very, for my very special grandson, I got murder. No, probably not. I want you to have this sealed envelope. It might have murder in it. You guys don't know what it says. Well, those of you who've played it probably do know what it says. I'm going to backtrack there. He does have a pretty crazy sword up there. I don't know why he would have that. And apparently there's some sort of bug that lives up on top of the fire. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. <laughs> and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Man, this guy's depressing. So depressing. Come on. When that happens, my boy. <coughs> You'll be ready for this gift. And then he dies. While squeezing his fingers like this. 20 years later. Double X years later. Tuka, 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 tuka. Work. Where am I? I'm in a cubicle. With a security camera. Haha. <laughs> No, nah, that's not me. That guy's licking his lips. Look at that. <laughs> what a weird dude. Oh, there I am with my sick hair. Jaja. Joja. Life's better with Joja. I would like some water, please. I am thirsty. No, I want to go back to work. I like that job. Joja seems like a... Oh. Dear Mr. Jacobs, oh, Grandpa always knew what to call me. If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy. The Patio Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? I guess I will. Yep. So, one letter later... Boom, I moved. I quit my job. I was like, yo, Mr. Zuckerman, you can take this job and shove it right into the want ads. Yeah. That's what that's what we do with people who like pay for us to live in your face. And then I went to Stardew Valley and lived on the patio. What? And there was a bird and he flew down and he was like, flap, flap what he sounds like boom 
Wow, 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 wow. Hello, you must be Mr. Jacobs. <laughs> I definitely am. You got that right, sister. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. I, I, yeah, I will. Let's, let's go check out the farm. Man, it looks like a crap hole. This is the patio farm. All right. Uh, did it... Right. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I mean, could you just do it for me? That would be cool. Obviously, there's some weird bugs going on. Uh, <laughs> And here we are at your new home. It's so dumb. That's what her eyes look like. Uh. Ha! Who's this dude? His name's Lewis, and he's really happy. Oh, the new farmer! <laughs> Welcome! I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day someone new moves in, it's quite a big deal. I guess. I guess I'm pretty cool. I've got a cool skull t-shirt. Bet you guys don't have that. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage, eh? It's a good house. Very rustic. Mmm, yeah. It's got a lot of logs chopped, so that's good. Rustic? That's one way to put it. <laughs> Christy might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> you're so funny, Robin. I hope you fall in a ditch. Rude! Yeah, it is rude. Don't listen to her, Mr. Jacobs. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Gross. Humph. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The town's people would appreciate that. Okay. I'm sure they would. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to cl That's a bit weird, dude. Like, I mean, do what you want at night, but like coming by my house to take stuff out of a box at night is, that's odd. Yeah, that's super odd. And I'm the one wearing the skull t-shirt. And you're the odd one. That's, that's just what I'm saying. Okay. We got a, a rooster crow. Ooh, we can move around. We can check by pressing shift. Ooh. Oh, no, no. I don't want to go. <laughs> just go back to sleep. Yeah, here. Here we go. What's this? Oh, we got some parsnip seeds. What? Great. Thanks. Did you drop those off in the night while I was, like, sleeping? Because that's super weird. Um. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again. Now, listen up. So for all you greenhorns out there, chop wood and search for a wild forage to earn some cash while waiting for your first harvest. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. Oh, no. No, leave. Let's leave. All right, let's go. Outside. Used to chop wood. Used to dig until soil. Used to break stones. Oh, hey, I can I can break all these stones up. Nice. Ah, I can break up plants too. Ah, in your face, plants. I know. Yeah! In your face! In your face! <laughs> um, let's do this one. Let's chop up some wood. Yeah! Oh, we can chop the tree down. Choppy chop. Everyone gets a chop. And some plants. Yeah! Gotta clear out this area. 
Um, no, we need our we need our pickaxe. Get rid of these stupid rocks. In your face, rocks. That's what you get for not being something useful like plants. Yeah. Yeah, and you, and you. I want a big, ugly lawn. A scythe. If you've built a silo. Well, I haven't built a silo. Jeez, man. What do I look like? A farmer? God. This is in the way. This is coming down. Yeah, come on. Come on down. Chop, 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 G. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I totally did that. That's how we do that's how we do it where I'm from. Yeah. There's obviously some sort of stuff going on over here. Yeah, this is fun. Just cleaning up all these rocks. I have no idea what we're doing with them, but um the game's on a timer, so there's that. I mean, it's like Monday, 9, 10 a.m. Let's try the scythe. <laughs> yeah, the scythe is good at cutting grass. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Give it to me. Give it to me. Okay, um... I mean, I don't know what any of this stuff is for, but... Fluid attained from trees. Okay. Um... I mean, can we... I mean, probably there's something, like, better that I'm supposed to be doing with my time here. But, um... I don't know. I'm having fun doing this. It's got that... It's got that satisfying pop-pop-pop feeling that you get, like, when you're, um... Oh, that... Oh, what was that Peter Molyneux game? Um... The shitty one. Um... Oh, excuse me. The... The not great one. Um... Uh... Godus. It had that poppy sound. He goes, pop-pop-pop. Let's chop this down, obviously, since it's in the way. Come on, come on! Boom, timber! Oh, can we chop up the stump as well? There we go. What about this one? Oh, okay, I see. Fine. Let's, um, we've got a hoe. We've got a hoe. So. Uh, is there an easier way to do this? I'm starting to feel exhausted. Really? How do I get energy? Okay, well, let's go back inside the house and get some energy. Is there, like, food in here or something? Doesn't look like there's any food. Minus two energy. Um, nope. Okay, well, let's just go to town then, I guess. What does this say? Journal. Oh, introductions. Okay. We'll go introduce ourselves. Yeah, what's the other one? Cultivate and harvest parsnip. Okay. Where's town? Is this town? Um, that's not town. Okay. So that's a weird thing. What is this? Okay. The bus to Calico does it. Uh, I'm too tired now. It's only 1230. Uh, that's really annoying, guys. Like. Okay. Can I go? I'm going to go steal these berries and eat them. Well, I'm going to try to. What are these things? Nope. Let's go steal some berries. I want some berries, guys. It's not very good when I don't have any berries. Oh my god. Fine, I'll talk to this person. I can't do anything. Oh my god. Ugh. What is even going on? There we go. Oh, you're you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Don't care, Jody. I need something to eat. Papa is hungry. Give me some food, man. Why do I not have a kitchen at my house? 
Jeez. Oh, this is agony. I'm going into someone else's house. I want to eat their food. Um, come on. Let's get some food from this person's house. Hello. Sorry, I need some energy. Come on. Come on. Great, I want some. Well, I didn't want to swing my freaking axe. Ugh. Okay, this is really, really frustrating. Um, what am I supposed to do? I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Well, what I'd really like to do... Ugh. Is eat something. God. And I walk so slow because I'm exhausted because I accidentally misclicked. Is there anything in the garbage? No. And clearly that's not any saloon or anything. I'm just going to keep walking, I guess. Oh my god. I want to kill these pigs and eat them. I just want some energy, seriously. Why can I not have some energy? Oh my god. I mean, I'm sure this game is really awesome. But right now, I'm just infuriated at it. And it's enough to make me not want to play. Honestly. I mean, I get... I get why. But it didn't say that there was energy. It didn't tell me that I was going to run out of freaking energy. Can I drink out of the pond? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is... Ugh. Okay, well, this is Stardew Valley, and you make a farm. And I liked it at first, and now I'm angry. So, as far as causing me to feel emotions, this game has done very well. I am angry now, where I was kind of enjoying myself. But now I'm angry, because of freaking Stardew Valley, and the patio farm. I have a bunch of money, and I can't even buy anything. It's dumb. Where are all these people going? They're just going to their houses. It's stupid. There's no freaking saloon. There's like a sewer, but nowhere to eat. And like a graveyard. I'm just gonna go lay down and die. I hope I die. That would make this bearable. Oh my god, the walking speed. And I, I realize at this point that we've been playing for 18 minutes and a lot of it you've just been watching me walk super slowly around. See, like, what is the... I'm, I have no words. No, I have plenty of words. I lie. I am just... I'm very angry. I'm very angry at this game. It's like punishing me for trying to enjoy it. I was like, oh cool, I can choppity chop stuff. But no. What, I mean, what is this? It's closed until summer. Great. Great. Perfect. What is this? I don't, I don't know. What is this? Uh, it's closed because I've, I've waited too long. So I'm done. Done, done. A uh, done, done, done. I mean, look at all this cool stuff you can do. You know what I mean? Like, there's like crafting and building. <sighs> it's obviously a very thorough game, but I'm done. I'm infuriated. I'm angry. I'm not happy. I'm sure there's a lot to the game. And I would recommend it, probably. But right now, I am... 
I'm as angry as I was when I first started playing Minecraft and I couldn't figure out how to make a table because I didn't know about punching trees. This was like way back in the beta. You know what I mean? And I had to go online to figure out what to do. And that is super frustrating. That is very frustrating, game. I am frustrated. And now you've slowed me down to the point that I don't want to continue. I would rather restart the stupid game than continue. That's not a good point to be at, game. Do you see? I know that you said I should go talk to people, but I'm not going to. I'm done. Done, done, done. Someone else can play. Someone else's job to make my farm. The patio farm. Have fun. I will see you next time. Class dismissed.